Hello world. I'm imagination. Comparing brains to computers is a long and dearly held analogy in both neuroscience and computer science. It's not hard to see why. Our brains can perform many of the tasks we want computers to handle with an easy, mysterious grace. So, it goes, understanding the inner workings of our minds can help us build better computers, and those computers can help us better understand our minds. Also, if brains are like computers, knowing how much computation it takes them to do what they do can help us predict when machines will match minds. Indeed, there's already a productive flow of knowledge between the fields. Deep learning, a powerful form of artificial intelligence, for example, is loosely modeled on the brain's vast layered networks of neurons. You can think of each node in a deep neural network as an artificial neuron. Like neurons, nodes receive signals from other nodes connected to them and perform mathematical operations to transform input into output. Depending on the signals a node receives, it may opt to send its signal to all the nodes in its network. In this way, signals cascade through layer upon layer of nodes, progressively tuning and sharpening the algorithm. The brain works like this too. But the keyword above is loosely. Scientists know biological neurons are more complex than the artificial neurons employed in deep learning algorithms, but it's an open question, just how much more complex. In a fascinating paper published recently in the journal Neuron, a team of researchers from the Hebrew University of Jerusalem tried to get us a little closer to an answer. While they expected the results would show biological neurons are more complex, they were surprised at just how much more complex they are. In the study, the team found it took a 5 to an 8 layer neural network, or nearly 1000 artificial neurons, to mimic the behavior of a single biological neuron from the brain's cortex. Though the researchers caution the results are an upper bound for complexity as, opposed to an exact measurement of it they, also believe their findings might help scientists further zero in on what exactly makes biological neurons so complex. And that knowledge, perhaps, can help engineers design even more capable neural networks and AI. The model neuron is from a rat's brain, as opposed to a human's, and it's only one type of brain cell. Further, the study is comparing a model to a model, there is, as of yet, no way to make a direct comparison to a physical neuron in the brain. The real thing may be more, not less, complex. Still, the team believes their work can push neuroscience and AI forward. In the former case, the study is further evidence dendrites are complicated critters worthy of more attention. In the latter, it may lead to radical new algorithmic architectures. Ayan Sejev, a co-author on the paper, suggests engineers should try replacing the simple artificial neurons in today's algorithms with a mini five-layer network simulating a biological neuron. We call for the replacement of the deep network technology to make it closer to how the brain works by replacing each simple unit in the deep network today with a unit that represents a neuron, which is already, on its own, deep, Sejev said. Whether so much added complexity would pay off is uncertain. Experts debate how much of the brain's detail algorithms need to capture to achieve similar or better results. But it's hard to argue with millions of years of evolutionary experimentation. So far, following the brain's blueprint has been a rewarding strategy. And if this work is any indication, future neural networks may well dwarf today's in size and complexity. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.